Australian line and to the left they come with Kearney. Devastating first half in the opening match. And it was that sort of ball that forced that. Rogers has got an intercept here. He's 50 metres to the try line. The chase is coming. They won't get him. Matt Rogers scores an intercept try for the Australians. They're off to a flyer. Not touched by Kamali. Matt Rogers, I think that's okay. I don't think he got a touch as the ball was going down. Uh, the crowd disagree. We'll have a look at another angle here. Nah, that's as good as gold. That'll be the first try of this game, the first points. Some of their presence in the game, looking to, of course, forge their way into the test team. But uh, very slow start from Australians. Here's their first opportunity. Girdler, a beautiful take there from Rogers for the corner and scores. Matt Rogers. Lovely hands at the finish as Kirdler unloaded for Matthew Rogers. And it could be quite a point scoring night for that young man. The number two for this Australian side. He already has over a century of points in his relatively short test career. But he's just added another four. And no surprise to see the class of those three guys, the inside runners. It was Fittler, Bondalokia, then to Girdler and put Rogers away. A fantastic short side move from the Australians. As you can see, they've completely outnumbered the Fijians. They've got it all wrong in defence. Some brilliant attacking play. Particularly from Gurr, they hit the accelerator when he did get into space. Nice ball from Gower wide. Fittler looked out to lock you. Nice quick hands. As you can see, Gurdler went nice and fast. Had some work to do there, Matt Rogers. Took some scoring to try. Had the presence of Lottie Takiri coming across. Still managed to show that composure, that try scoring ability. We see so often from this man, Matt Rogers. And he's taken the ball forward tonight. He's been able to shrug away from at least one or two defenders. Andrew Johns, a high kick. This one coming down in the fourth corner. Kuradua Dua wasn't able to handle, and Matt Rogers has scored. Matt Rogers has got to the football after the error by Kuradua Dua. So the score line, as we look at the kick again, from some of the best wingers and fullbacks in the world have trouble diffusing the high ball from Andrew Johns that spiralling kick 20 moments ago we started going from the scrum for the Australians lock your passes for Gidley then for Rogers that's a tie for mine to Matt Rogers a superb finisher Matt Rogers and in the blink of the eye the Australians for mine have scored the video referee will check it though and it could be a decisive try in the context of this match No trouble for mine from Matt Rogers. Laurie Daly. Yeah, well, that's a try. Great work there by Matt Rogers. Did a great in and away on Vainacolo. There goes the green light. Try. Aren't they a superb win for Wendell Salem, Matt Rogers? Great runners of broken play. Amazing strength. Not much of Matt Rogers, but the way that he can spin out of tackles, beat tackles, and then take advantage of his pace. They just get on the outside. Darren Lockie did very well to go in and away. Gidley realised that he had to get the ball as quickly as he could to Matt Rogers. And they gave the flying Canola winger just enough space to cross out wide. Yeah, you could see the confusion in the Kiwi defence. Some guys were sliding out, other guys were coming in. There obviously was no talk. And as you can see here, you see him going across. Henry Paul, Talao went to come in, left Gidley unmarked, offloads to Rogers, who's got too much pace for Vainacolo to go over in the corner. Vinavalu. Vinavalu tries a kick and a ricochet and Australia away with Hill. Up over the 20 metre line. Rogers in support. Rogers has 28 points tonight. He's in pursuit of Andrew John's record. Rogers is away. Rogers inside the 20. And that equals Andrew John's record. And he will have a shot at goal for 34 points tonight. If you trust my maths, he now has 32 points, four tries and eight goals. And a conversion attempt from beside the uprights for Rogers. Vinavalu went from dummy up and put a ball on the toe. For the moment, Scott Hill went into the clear. It was whether Matt Rogers was going to score on the inside or the outside. He went to the outside, jinked off the left foot, and it ended up on the inside under the post. Fantastic finisher, this guy. Blessed with great balance and speed. You just knew one-on-one -on -one that the guy was going to go away and put that ball down at some point. It was just a matter of where and when. Unfortunately for him, it was beside the post, which gives him a better opportunity to kick some goals. Broncos, top four.
fitness kick is high. Down into the corner and... Oh! It'll be a try to Australia! Matt Rogers is over! It is a try! The green and goals are in again. Vayna Colo. He has completely missed it. And Matt Rogers scores for Australia. for the Sarua Dragons. The Australians away down the left side. It's on again. Andrew Johns decides to kick. Rogers is there leading the chase for the Australians. Matt Rogers has got there first. And referee Conley sets that. That is another four-pointer. Rogers into the advertising hoardings. This is going to be a big points tally for that young man, Matt Rogers. Second try already of the night. Some of the tries Australia scores will be simply about class, and this has got the class to it, but it was stoppable from the Fijians. The chase was a poor one. It was a late anticipation. He just dropped off his guard, and Matt Rogers hit the accelerator, sensed that, and struck the killer blow with a beautiful little 10-metre burst once Andrew Johns had so magnificently dropped the ball on the toe. Perfect placement from Johns. The ball sat up in the end goal. It was waiting there for a try to be scored, and that man Rogers hit the accelerator and came up with that wonderful touchdown for his second try for the evening to go along with the a million goals that we saw are heading his way this evening. Well, even at this early stage, David Middleton, the, the number one statistician back in Australia, was... Five! Five! Fittler. Fittler, as they always had them travelling back, had to come. Plenty of possession. This time they grab one. Still plenty of time. And Rogers is allowed to waltz around to really improve it for the kick. 24-8. Yes, Brad Fittler there, fantastic play. Just saw the blind side. You can see the defenders out there. There's only two Kiwi players, three Aussies, always going to use the numbers, always going to score that try. But there is no reason for him to run around him behind the post. Well, the Kiwis here, they will be disappointed. A Hevelin in a soft try just at the end of the first half. This could be another one. It's a last tackle play. Choosing not to kick the ball. They just shuffle it through the hands. Good quick hands. Matt Rogers goes around to improve the position. Brad Fittler showing us the benefits of holding the two balls, the ball in two hands, as you can see there. The defense wasn't sure what was going to happen. And, and uh, a little bit disappointing from the Kiwis to let Matty Rogers come around, as you said, Toddy. Presentation before the game. Reminding us of the fallen. As Scott Hill makes a break. Kamali's coming. Kamali's the way. The chase is on. Kamali, chased by Jones, gets the ball away. Rogers will score. Rogers is over. He came off his legs. No knock on. Rogers scores. And he takes those three names away from the record book. And I'll tell you what. He's got a long time to go in his career and he'll break plenty of more records in that period of time. Unfortunately, such a simple bust once again from Scott Hill. Stephen Kearney didn't have the speed. He must be out on his feet. But just have a look at how Matt Rogers does not panic when that pass comes. He deliberately lets it hit his foot, puts it into the end goal area and scores the try. A great effort for him to back up way on the inside anyway. But Scott Hill again creating and beautiful finishing from Rogers, just keeping a cool head at all times. Wasn't it lovely how Brett Kamali just held that pass up right till the death. He knew he was going to get nailed. He held it up, perfect pass, although it hit the, the knees of Matty Rogers. And he knows he's done something special here tonight. He's got his mum and, and dad in the crowd.